Hi everybody, George Chamberlain here watching your dollars on this uh, Monday. Here it is already the 20th of August. Hope you were able to at least somehow stay cool over the weekend. Uh, it's still staying pretty warm out there. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's always amazing uh, what people like to collect. And if you have a lot of money, you might want to be a car collector. There are a lot of them out there, Jay Leno and people like that. Well, there was a big auction up at Pebble Beach in the Monterey area. They have it every year. It's a, uh, uh, they have a, a, a real fancy uh, car show, and then they sell off, have a big auction with that. And there was one car in particular that set an all-time record. Let's take a close-up look at this baby, Mike. Uh, this is a uh, 1968 GT40. It's a Ford, uh, actually, and uh, a powder blue, sort of like the Chargers powder blue. This, this stripe here they refer to as a marigold stripe. That's that color there through there, and it has number 40 on it. Uh, this was actually a functioning race car in the 1968, at places uh, in the 1968 era, Le Mans uh, and uh, Sebring and places like that. And then it was purchased by Steve McQueen's film company, and it was used as uh, the camera car in a race car in a movie called Le Mans, which uh, Steve McQueen starred in. Uh, I'm a big car racing guy. I was uh, When I was a kid growing up, I loved Formula One racing and stuff like that. Uh, Le Mans was a very bad movie. It was not good at all. Uh, I'm a big fan of Steve McQueen. If you're a Steve McQueen fan, you know that probably the greatest race, not, not a race car scene, but the greatest chase scene, in a movie and when you go back to the fact that it was made in 1970 at a time when they didn't have a lot of the computer generated special effects and all that stuff the movie was bullet with steve mcqueen driving a ford mustang fastback in the streets of san francisco it was a good movie generally uh, but the, that that scene is still one of the, the great movies of all time my number one uh, a movie about uh, about car racing uh, still is Grand Prix, which was put out at about the same time as McQueen's Le Mans, but was a much better movie and, and much better special effects than that one. And again, considering that they had to do it with cameras rather than with uh, with a computer. So, uh, but anyway, a big deal for uh, for somebody. We don't know who it was that paid eleven million dollars for that car, but I hope they get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Watching your dollars, I'm George Chamberlain. Have a good one.